Facts First presents Scientists have just discovered two secret rooms hidden inside the Great Pyramid of Giza. Before we get into this video, help us spread the word about Facts First by clicking that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. The Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt is one of the most amazing structures on Earth. This massive structure is made of stones that weigh hundreds and thousands of pounds. Because heavy machinery wasn't around in ancient Egypt, we can only assume that the pyramid was built with human hands, which is really amazing. Archaeologists from all over the world have been studying the pyramid for hundreds of years. Because this pyramid has been studied by experts so often and for so many times, it's pretty incredible that scientists are just now discovering two secret rooms hidden inside the Great Pyramid of Giza. How is it possible that they remained hidden up until now? Well, it's believed it took between 10 and 20 years to build the pyramid itself, which was completed around 2560 BC. When it was first built, the pyramid stood at 480 feet high. For over 3,800 years, it was the biggest construction project ever taken on by man. The pyramid is said to have been the final resting place of a fourth dynasty pharaoh named Khufu. Ancient Egyptians knew the pyramid as Khufu's horizon back then. It's surrounded by three smaller pyramids which were tributes to Khufu's wives. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the best preserved of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Since the 19th century, Egyptologists have been studying the Great Pyramid. It was always believed that the pyramid had three chambers. The first chamber is a work in progress that was carved out in rock below the main part of the construction. The second and third chambers are enormous. They're known as the King's Chamber and the Queen's Chamber. The King's Chamber is the largest of the two. It's 35 feet by 17 feet. It has a flat roof which is over 19 feet high. The Queen's Chamber is just under 19 feet by 17 feet. It has a pointed roof that's about 20 feet high. The Grand Gallery connects the two. It's a passageway that's about 28 feet high, over 150 feet long. A recent discovery has revealed there is more to the interior of the pyramid than initially thought. It was discovered during a pioneering project called the Scan Pyramids Program which was led by teams from the Cairo University and the Heritage Innovation and Preservation Institute in Paris. The project began in October 2016, and it uses the latest scientific techniques, and they revealed two mysterious anomalies in the pyramid. One of the new findings was discovered on the northern wall. The researchers working on the project believe that there is a hidden corridor that extends into the central part of the pyramid. The team installed 12 muon-detecting plates in 2016, and they're hoping that this will help them learn more about their discovery. The second anomaly that was discovered is located on the northeast face of the pyramid. The researchers believe that there's a void there that extends deep into the pyramid. They don't think that there's a connection between the two cavities, however, their research is still in the very early stages. While the new discoveries are fascinating, the way that they made these discoveries is even more incredible they used cosmic rays to find out more about the inside of the pyramid. Cosmic rays are incredibly high-energy radiation, often from beyond our solar system. When the rays hit atoms in the Earth's atmosphere, they create subatomic particles that are called muons. Around 10,000 muons per square meter per minute come into contact with the Earth. They're very useful for scientists. The muons can travel through matter, similar to an X-ray but much better. The researchers at the pyramid are using specialized equipment to see how the muons pass through solid objects, such as the stone of the Great Pyramid. The researchers left the detectors in place for 67 days so that they could receive and record the muons. The results from the detectors were sent to Nagoya University in Japan, which was where the anomalies were discovered. According to the Ministry of State Antiquities in Egypt, more work needs to be done before we can get any real answers. They believe it'll be irresponsible to jump to conclusions now without more research. So far, though, without the necessary research, the experts still don't know what to think about this discovery. The anomalies could be simply the differences between the sizes in the stones that were used to build the pyramids. But it could also be new rooms and corridors that we never knew existed. But only time will tell. Subscribe for more!